Hi, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox a Water Snake T24 ASP with the uh, kayak mount. Uh, that I'm going to do a little field test with it. Um, I got this one on sale from Walmart for 108 bucks. Since my old uh, Water Snake 18 TSP 18 was busted with the uh, magnet inside all shattered into pieces. I have no idea how that happened, but it did. So instead of trying to fix that, I just got this one instead. We got a motor and an inspection sheet. A manual and a two blade prop. Uh, this can be changed to three blade, which you can buy separately. And we have the uh, bracket mount, a few pieces. Doesn't seem difficult to put them together. We have the uh, standard threaded prop attachment. And here is the uh, bracket to the shaft attachment. It's all plastic. Um, you know, seems okay. Typical two speed forward and backward. I'm turned to uh, adjust the height of the motor in the water. A little bit difficult to open the box with a single hand, but uh, the other hand with the camera. Here we have some aluminum arm and stand, some plastic base and plastic swivel, plus a little bit of clamps here and there, uh, and some hardware and screw in the box. So I have to uh, assemble all these pieces to look what's like on the photo. Shouldn't be hard, right? Here it is. So I kind of jerry-rigged this for my uh, crate because the base bracket uh, mount doesn't fit into uh, my kayak. Uh, I really have to uh, rethink this soon later, maybe using the scupper hole on my kayak instead. Um, for now, I think I'm going to use this for my paddleboard. It's just a bit too snug here. You all have to really line them up to uh, make it work.
Okay, the first thing I notice when I turn on the motor is the bracket doesn't hold in place very well. Too many moving parts. The swivel play uh, at the base is very loose, even though I tightened it as much as I could earlier. It has now become undone. You just heard me say that it's a little bit difficult to control, given the part moves a lot. The uh, motor moves the paddleboard, I'm guessing about 2 to 3 miles per hour on low setting. I couldn't do the high setting as the bracket would be moving all over the place, so I avoided that. Final thought, um, buy the motor, avoid a kayak bracket. Not a very well thought out product. Um, doesn't work for the kayak. It needs to be a very specific situation. So uh, back to the drawing board. And thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment, a like, a dislike, and please subscribe. Thank you.